हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर एस एम खान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइकोलॉजी अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू अबाउट स्पीयर मैन रैंक को रिलेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मैथड फ्रॉम द फैमिली ऑफ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स it is also known as rank correlation coefficient spears man row and named after charles pearson it help you to assess how well the relationship between two variables can be described using a monotonic function monotonic function is a function in mathematic that preserves the given order the assumptions required to examine or calculate the spearman rank correlation are there is no need to give the labels to the variables as independent or de dependent simply you are examining the relationship between two variables the most important assumption for the spearman rank correlation is that the measurement level is ordinal in nature the data set must be in ranks some of the some of the applications i am trying to share with you if you are interested to examine the correlation between ranks of individuals obtained in the maths and english exam then you go for spearman rank correlation if you are willing to examine the correlation between mid term test and final exam then spearman rank correlation is the technique if interested to examine the correlation between ranks given to patients by doctors based on placebo and drug then spearman rank correlation if willing to estimate the correlation between interview score and aptitude test score if interested to estimate the correlation between iq before and after training now coming to the formula of the spearman rank correlation this is the formula that you are going to use calculate the coefficient there are two conditions when in data sets you are having ties or no ties this formula is applicable when there is no ties it can be expressed as 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n into n square man, minus 1 in words it can be stated as denominator it is the sum of difference between ranked scores squared and multiplied by 6 coming to the denominator n is the number of participants into square of number of participants n minus 1 one more point uh, need to be understood 
there is a different formula when you are having ties in your data set. But finally, in the in case of the correlation coefficient, hardly there is a difference as at second or third decimal places. So it is suggested in both the cases you can use this formula. Now moving ahead, I'm trying to discuss one of the real time case. First, we will frame the hypothesis. Males with more testosterone will be more aggressive. In this case, we have data set for two variables, testosterone, it is steroid hormones in males and aggressive behavior. Now there are certain steps to calculate the Spearman rank correlation coefficient. Number one, rank both sets of data set. For ranking it is suggested you put the scores into ascending order and the lowest value will be given rank 1 and so on. Step 2 Try to calculate the difference between ranks for each point. Step 3 Square the difference. This will cancel out the minus sign. Step 4, sum up the squared differences. Step 5, multiply number found in step 4 by 6. Step 6, find n number of scores or participants in your data set. Step 7, calculate n into n means n square minus 1. Step 8, multiply this number by n. Step 9, divide the answer in step 6 by the answer to step 8. Step 10, Subtract this from 1, then you will have the Spearman rank correlation coefficient. So, this is the example of data set that I am sharing with you. Uh, in this data set, I am having 6 participants, and the scores obtained on testosterone and aggression tendency or behavior for each participants are shown. Now the next step is to rank both sets of data separately. So as I shared with you, you are giving the ranks in ascending order on the basis of raw score. So these are the ranks for both the variables. Now step 2, calculate the difference between ranks for each point of two variables. The last column shows the ranks. At this point of time, do not try to remove the minus sign. If you sum these differences, it will be zero. It is the statistical property sum of deviation from mean 
is 0. Now moving ahead, step 3, square the difference in the last column and it will eliminate the role of the minus sign. Now we step 4, add up the square differences. The last column, if you sum all the 6 scores of the square differences, it is 44. Now we step 5, multiply number found in step 4 which is sum of square differences by 6. 6 into 44 is equal to 264. Moving ahead, in step 6, find n. n is the number of scores or participants. Please be very careful. This number needs to be in pairs. So in our case we are having six participants and the data set for data points for all the participants for both variables is available. So the so in step six n is equal to six. In step seven Calculate n into n or n square minus 1. 36 minus 1 is equal to 35. In step 8, multiply this answer by n. 35 into 6 equal to 210. Now coming to the step 9. Divide the answer in step 5 by the answer to step 8. 264 divided by 210 equal to 1.256. Step 10. Subtract value of step 8 from 1. The Spearman rank correlation 1 minus 1.256 is equal to minus 0.256. Now there is a need to go for critical values. To be significant, the observed value must be equal to or greater than the critical value. In this case, to examine the critical value, you need to go for statistical tables. However, in the statistical softwares, you will have the direct value. If you see in this case, critical value against 6 degrees of freedom at p less than 0 0.05 is 0 0.829. It is against one tail test. Since my hypothesis is directional in nature, to be significant, the observed value. must be equal to or greater than the critical value. Conclusion Observed value is minus 0.256 and critical value is 0.829. To be significant, the observed value must be equal to or greater than the critical value, which is not the case. The test failed to reject the null hypothesis 
that males with more testosterone will be more aggressive. It can be inferred that correlation between testosterone and aggression is negative but not statistically significant. Advantages of Spearman rank correlation it no longer assumes the underlying relationship between X and Y to be linear and therefore the data hold a distinct curve linear relationship. As in case of Carl Pearson correlation coefficient, one of the assumptions is that data set must be on a continuous scale and the assumption of the normality satisfied. If it is not satisfied, then rank correlation is more reliable than the conventional measure of correlation coefficient. Number two, no assumption about normality are made about distribution of X and Y. Number three, when you are unable to make meaningful numerical measurements but can establish ranking, then Spearman rank correlation is one of the solution. For example, when different experts rank a group of individuals according to some attribute, then it is suggested to go for Spearman rank correlation. Thank you. Any question?